Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have decorated my fireplace ready for autumn. It used to be used for the dog bed, but we've moved all that upstairs now and it was finally my time to shine and decorate it for autumn. I was really excited. So if you'd like to see how I decorated it and where I got everything from, then keep on watching. I've ordered some bits online already, but I think I want to go to HomeSense and see if they've got any like cute baskets or anything and then just see what else they've got because I'm hoping that they now have some Halloween stuff in because when I went last went they didn't have that much in so let's go and see without you thanks so I'm gonna walk you through some bits that I got and the first thing is this pumpkin garland it's got these tiny little pumpkins on it it's really cute and my plan is to put that across here um, I got this from lights for fun it wasn't that expensive so yeah I think this is really cute and it will obviously last me years as well the second thing is this trio of pumpkins they're like material pumpkins they come like this and I think these are gonna look really cute I'm not quite sure where I'll put them yet but um, I got these from Hudson home they were eight pounds which I thought was actually really reasonable this candle I got from home sense and it's called white pumpkin and I like this because a lot of the candles in there are a bit too sickly for me and a bit strong uh, this is still quite strong but um, I think it's really nice it's a bit more vanilla-y um, and it's obviously got this cute little leaf detail on it, which I really like. Also from HomeSense, I got this basket, which I've been needing one of these for so long, but I've just been putting it off because I haven't had the right space to put it. Um, I think this will look really nice in the fireplace. And then I actually got two blankets to put in the basket. There's this cream one and the... This one's got a bit more of an autumnal tone to it. It's lovely. I actually got these from Amazon. Um, I literally typed in like neutral blankets just to see, because some of the ones online are literally like 40, 50 quid a blanket. And one of the ones I saw that I really liked in HomeSense was a hundred pounds for a blanket. And I thought, this isn't gonna happen. Then I got this Pampas grass online from Love Pampas on Etsy and it, it did take a little while to come but uh, I think it's really gorgeous and to put it in I got this vase it's a two-tone vase I got it for five pounds on Facebook marketplace which I thought was an absolute bargain and then also from Facebook marketplace I got this little milking stool because I've seen like pictures of like you can put a pumpkin on them or sort of like a decor book or a candle or anything and if you look on Etsy that can be like 40 35 pounds which is fair enough but again I got this for five pounds on Facebook marketplace I think sometimes if you look local you can get things way cheaper and um, I have bought a wood stain that I might stain this with to make it a little bit darker but it does actually match quite well with the basket so I think I'm just gonna see and then last but not least a pumpkin uh, this I got for 99p in Audi uh, we might go to like a pumpkin picking patch at some point and have someone where you can take your golden retriever with you so that would be cute but for now I thought there's no point in me spending way more on a pumpkin so this will do the job I'll give it a bit of a wipe down and it'll look really cute so I'm gonna give it a clean down wipe off any marks we have from the dog, get rid of all the cobwebs, and then I'm gonna get decorating. going to use to put up the pumpkin garland because it's really easy to use. It's 
the lullaby straight till the morning oh how we keep it going this love is only moments girl and you know i'm carrying the world so just fuck me like the side boy save me from all of the pain and the drama there we go i do think it looks nice but i am going to fluff them out a little bit more i had to bend the stem inside the pot just to get them a bit more upright so for this space i might actually get a bit of a narrower vase so i've now filled this with blankets i've got the dark one here and just the white one laid over it. Now the pumpkin, I'm just going to spray down with some Zaflora. You can also bleach your pumpkin, which I may do as it makes them last longer. So here it is all finished. I hope you like how it looks. I think it looks really cozy. Okay, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it's made you feel way more autumnal. I really enjoyed making it. Uh, if you liked it, please drop it a like and subscribe for more home and decor videos. I will be back every Sunday. So see you next time.